The field is growing in the 2024 presidential race with former Vice President Mike Pence and North Dakota Governor Doug Burgum entering the race. The total number of Republican candidates now stands at 12. This comes as two Democrats are challenging President Biden for the White House in the Democratic primary. That's RFK Jr. and Marianne Williamson. And just this week, a third-party candidate jumped into the race, Dr. Cornell West, who launched his bid as a member of the People's Party. And Dr. West joins us now. So, Dr. West, uh, let me start with the obvious question. Uh, how are, are you running to win? Or are you running to get your issues of importance that you think Joe Biden is not paying enough attention to to the forefront? Well, I mean, one, my dear brother, that you always have a calling to win. You want to bear witness at the highest level of quality, integrity, and honesty that you can. So, yes, I'm trying to push toward the finish line. Why? Because I want to reintroduce America to the best of itself. And it's fairly clear that Brother Trump, neo-fascist gangster, not the best. Brother Biden, neoliberal hypocrite, not the best. I want the legacy of Martin Luther King Jr., Dorothy Day, Abraham, Joshua Heschel, and Edward Zaid, and Chief Joseph, and Grace Lee Boggs, and Luis, Luis Marino. These are those fighting for poor and working people, both parties stand in the way of the empowerment of poor and working peoples. Both parties tied Wall Street, militarism, Pentagon, tied to Silicon Valley. What about the 60 percent of precious Americans of all colors who are struggling every day and month to put food on the table and are hardly doing it, while the 1 percent is simply uh, tied to their uh, quest mm -hmm. for the luxurious life? American democracy not just is at stake, the whole planet, Brother Jake. You know that man with fossil fuels. And, and look, look at the debt ceiling agreement. We can make a deal with Brother Manchin in terms of his pipeline that will do in not just working class people's spaces, but ecological collapse, given what's going on on the East Coast. But we can't make a deal with him in terms of voting rights with regard to the filibuster. That's Brother Biden. We need something better. Where's the best of the country? Yeah. Not just the working people here, but around the world. Because the militarism abroad is something that I'm deeply concerned about, be it in Latin America, be it in Africa, be it in the Middle East. So I hear you, but these elections often do mm -hmm. come down to a binary choice between the Democrat and the Republican. Um, Dr. Lawrence Tribe, a Harvard University professor, as you, you were, tweeted, WTF, you know what that stands for. Does Cornell West really want to help... The GOP nominee win the way Ralph Nader helped George W. Bush defeat Al Gore in 2000. Please stop this foolishness before you really hurt the things you care to help, unquote. His fear, obviously, that you would sap away enough votes of progressives who otherwise would vote for Joe Biden and thus deliver the White House to the Republican, making things worse than they would be under Biden, in Lawrence Tribe's view. Your response? Well, one, I mean, Brother Tribe, he's looking at the world again through these Manichaean views. You get either this or that, Tweedledee, Tweedledum, Frick or Frack. Neo-fascist catastrophe, neoliberal disaster. Are disasters better than catastrophes? Absolutely. But are disasters disasters? Absolutely still. So the, the idea that Brother Trump would reduce, I mean, my Brother Tribe would reduce what I'm trying to do and focus on the this unbelievable suffering and social misery of poor and working people around the world to some ego vanity. I said, good God almighty, what are you doing? Do you actually think that the rich legacy of the figures that I talked about can be reduced to their ego vanity when they moved in the electrical political context? Part of the problem is, is people who believe it's either the Democrats or the Republicans have left out serious discussion of mass incarceration, left out of what's been going on around the world, 800 military bases around the world. From the vantage point of the West Bank, our precious Palestinian brothers and sisters, what does it look like in terms of the bombs dropped by the U.S. government by either party? Same is true with working people in other parts of the world. This is a moral and a spiritual issue. It's not simply narrow strategic thinking of neoliberals who view the world in terms of either Republicans or Democrats. Brother Jake, we will never defeat fascism, which is on the march by milquetoast neoliberalism. Neoliberalism will only be a caretaking postponement of the fascism. You got to get at the source of it. Mm -hmm. That's why I'm going straight into Trump country, my brother. I'm talking to some of my white brothers and sisters who are following the neo-fascist Pied Piper. I'm concerned about your suffering. Look another way, 
the words of Martin King, let us embrace one another by accenting our best. That includes acknowledging those who right now are on the other side. We want realignment. We want what my dear brother Clifton West calls a paradigm shift in American politics. That's in part what this is about, my brother. Let me ask you just a, a practical question. Where do the People's Party, where, where will you be on the ballot? Will you be on the ballot in Michigan? Will you be on the ballot in Wisconsin? Uh, I don't think the People's Party was on the ballot in all 50 states last time. Are you, are you hoping to get on the ballot in every state or, or even just the, the battleground states? We're trying to get on the ballot in every state, which means we've got to get the requisite signatures in each state. We are in process of ensuring to make sure we get on that ballot. As you know, People's Parties broke away from Brother Bernie's uh, uh, attempt in 2016. So we're very new at this in that regard. But most importantly, we just want to make sure that our fellow citizens get a chance to see what the best of America is about, the best of America and the best of any nation is about fighting for poor and working people, no matter what color, gender, sexual orientation, and not just confining it to the states. I'm talking about solidarity with Iranians dealing with fascists, Iranian, uh, Iranian elites. I'm talking about solidarity with workers in Brazil. I'm talking about solidarity with workers in Guatemala. This is a international project, my brother. That's what Martin Luther King was concerned when he said the bombs dropped in Vietnam fall in ghettos and hoods and barrios and poor white sections. We have got a professional managerial class that has turned its back too often for the plight of the most vulnerable. That's my tradition. That's what, I, this, that's what this campaign is all about, my brother. So, Dr. West, I have a ton more questions, but we're out of time. You can see by the clock. Uh, come back. I'm going to just cut and paste, and we're going to ask these questions about your policies and your platforms. Next time you're here, open invitation. We love, we love having you on. No, indeed. Salute you, brother. You stay strong. God bless your loved ones, man. You too as well, Dr. West. Thank you so much for joining us. Uh.